goes to a news report about Batman, and it goes t to Arkham Asylum. Now, this is really cool, because the, this is the Joker right here, except he's supposedly cured, but he isn't out of Arkham yet. And then it goes on to saying, uh, the news report says, um, it was talking about Batman, and he just says, boo boo, and, and then it goes on to saying, bat, and then he goes into this really big smile, and he says, Batman. And then he goes back into what he used to be like. And the Joker is very different in this comic. He isn't like the guy that we all know who will make cracks about basically anything. So, yeah. There's Batman going with Jim Gordon. I'm sorry, I just dropped the book. Yo, I know. Way to go. This is basically Two Face kind of goes in, and except he's not Two Face anymore, he's Harvey Dent because he had plastic surgery done to his face, but he's still like Two Face. I mean, he just doesn't look like him. So Batman goes and he's trying to stop him, which he does, of course. I mean, he's Batman. It goes to the next comic, which is called The Dark Knight Triumphant, which is book two. And it features Robin. So, this is the first time you actually see her. Now, this is the first image you actually see of her. And she actually looks kind of cool. Instead of a mask, she wears glasses that you can see her eyes through, and they're all yellow. And it's a classic Robin suit. But... Instead of using a battering, she uses a slingshot with metal, um, like, bullets or whatever. And that is actually her type of weapon. So. Nah, this scene's really cool. Because the mutants go and they capture a boy. And they want Batman to take off his mask because they know he's there. So he goes and he goes through a wall and takes this guy out. It's like awesome. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. And then it shows him interrogating the people who did that, captured the boy and stuff. It's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to fast forward along the lines because I basically told you the story already. Um, but as you go through, the police go after Batman again. And at this point in the story, Robin has joined Batman. And... There's Superman. This is one of the first times you actually see Superman. And he actually looks cool. And then, this is the first time when you actually see Joker in his suit. And it isn't like the purple suit that we all know. It's kind of weird. And his hair isn't the way that most people like it, so... Most people have complaints about that. As you go through... Just drop the book again. Here is Batman fighting the Joker again. After so long. And this is actually... Um, a fight where the Joker dies. And Batman gets severely injured. But Joker actually gets, like, his noke. His noke. Yeah. Way to go. His neck um, gets broken by Batman, and he dies. So the Batman actually does kill Joker. But the Joker does stab him, so... And 
And then the final one is The Dark Knight Falls. This is probably the best one besides the Joker comic. Because Superman fights Batman after he gets hit by, the, by an atomic bomb. And they fight and um, Batman dies of a heart attack. So this is very um weird once you see it. And there's them just sitting there and Batman had his heart attack. So yeah. And he gets buried, but later um you actually find out that uh, he took a pill to make himself survive um, from, well, he took a pill that's supposed to fake a heart attack, so he actually didn't die. He just took a pill to make it look like he died. See, that's Bruce Wayne right there with Robin. And that's basically the story, but... It's a very good book. I suggest you guys go and pick it up. And if you are a fan of the series Batman and you like this graphic novel, check out the um, Batman animated series episode based on it. And I do have it favorited on my channel, so you guys can watch it. I suggest you do. It's really cool. So, yeah.